we are still one of the most economically segregated cities in the whole country. Um, kids are very much, I'm just gonna say, you go to school and everybody's Latino. My hope for education in San Antonio is that um, we are able to become less segregated. I would love to see um, children that are born in a neighborhood of poverty, that they have great educational options and that they get a chance to see something outside of that world and maybe go to school with kids, middle class kids that have opportunities and that it's not just the poor kids are here and the rich kids are here and then there's a few kind of exceptions in between. I would love to see, I mean, I, I feel sometimes like, how are we gonna get there? So I think as ASD realizes that they need to to have some choice schools, um, you know, like I would say ALA, ALA Twain, Steel Place, like that, bring in a more um, diverse parent population to become kind of advocates and then have that spread to some of the other schools. But of course, it's the <laughs> poorest children and the lowest performing kids that have to wait the longest, right? Because, I mean, you, you hope it's going to work, right? You hope. It hasn't happened yet. I mean, I can tell you half the parents that are sending their kids to Twain or ALA or so wouldn't dare send their kids to some schools in SASD. And, and maybe um, how long is it going to take for that to be something that's going to be truly not viewed as like a bad school, you know? and look at what had to happen like for because I do think they brought in people teachers from all around they had to they did what they had to do they brought in admins from other districts and they brought in like it's they had to shake things up big time you know and that's not happening at the same rate of course you can't do that with a whole <laughs> district at once you know but I think it was very strategic to do that um, I would just like to see more um I, less segregation, more people from different backgrounds and classes going to school together in public education and not just um, for choice for people with money and options. That's what I would like to see and we're moving there but it's still a long way away. <laughs>